We got the fish dog here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, back in the house. So we're gonna be putting a, a governless throttle set up on him for him uh, with one of these uh, one of these tie throttle cables and uh, tie levers because he has one of the the older generation tie kits. Um, so we're gonna show you how to set up a governless throttle setup. Uh, it bypasses the the governor. And then it makes it really easy to to idle and and everything else. Um, this should work on pretty much every 212 motor. So we'll we'll get it out of it right now. Show you guys that. It might even do the free exhaust mod along with it. So for this throttle setup up here, um, there's these two sets of holes right here. The second hole right here is where the, the throttle cable is going to come through. Uh, there's this spring right here. Uh, this spring is going to be reversed uh, to this take bolt right here. And then that's going to become the, um, the spring that's going to hold it this direction. And then this throttle clamp right here is going to be moved over to here. And the throttle is going to become in this direction. And then this thing right here is going to be obsolete, completely useless. So we're just going to take that off. So you're going to completely take this off because now it's not, it's going to be obsolete. This is going to be obsolete. Don't need that no more. Don't need that no more. And then now, fish dog, you got spare parts. Don't need that. <laughs> so now. So now this spring, so it kind of doesn't matter where you attach it, but this spring is going to go to uh, where this tank bolt is, right there, and it's going to wrap around that tank bolt, and then it's going to apply tension this direction uh, to keep the, the throttle at, at minimum, and then that is full throttle. So uh, no throttle, full throttle. So just be very careful with your tank bolts. We accidentally dropped one into where the flywheel was and we fished it out with a magnet. Reverse that spring, put it through here, and then wrap it around this tank bolt. And then you're gonna put the tank bolts back into the engine. And then now, it's pulled this way. So now the throttle is going to pull back to that's no throttle, full throttle, no throttle, full throttle. Turtle, it's on turtle, now it's on rabbit. Turtle, rabbit, turtle, rabbit. So we got the, the tight throttle on. And so uh, there's a little bent washer that's inside of the tight throttle. So if you have a tight throttle, um, just too much light. Um, just make sure you take that bent washer out um, so that way it can recoil back to full throttle. So that's full throttle and then no throttle. And then we'll follow it around here. So we took the, the piece that was right here and we moved it to right here. Uh, for some reason it wasn't threading very well. So we just took a bolt and uh, bolted it through the bottom and up through the top and then uh, bolted it down so now the throttle cable is not moving anywhere so like what i said so right now it's that turtle rabbit turtle rabbit turtle rabbit turtle rabbit um, if you didn't have that style 
uh, cable. Uh, you could use a throttle stop or you could even pull the cable back around and zip tie it to itself and it will do the same thing. So now it bypasses the governor. So now you can't be governed fished off. Oh yeah, let's go. Wide open, man. We'll throw it, no throw. We'll throw it, no throw. So we're gonna trim up the all the excess, zip tie everything down, and then we're gonna fire it up and uh, see how it's running. All right, so we got it all dressed back up. We'll throw, no throw. So we're probably gonna have to fire it up and then play with the the idle adjustment. And then right. right here we got the the free exhaust mod going. Exhaust mod. Alright, throttle set. Ready to go. So you don't need this piece? Nope. Chris Fish Dog is now ungovernable.